Hello and uh, welcome back to From the Depths and today I'm gonna show you how I build planes from the ground up and yes this is the famous ADF from Ace Combat I'm still building it still not finished but as you can see this is how <laughs> I build stuff in uh, From the Depths especially planes anyway I'm gonna show you how I build planes in From the Depths block by block and I'm also going to provide you with a breadboard that will allow your plane to do some crazy maneuvers automatically. It will also dodge for you and it will do a lot of stuff. Uh, for example, I've built... So we have this one, for example. These are all Ace Combat inspired planes. I also made this one. They're quite fast, right? They're pretty good fast planes and they're actually general purpose so they will attack ground targets or air targets. So anyway, let's start. So make sure to build everything, every block like mine basically, right? So we're gonna start with some glass because I'm gonna need or you're gonna need some cameras, right? So I'm gonna start with a nice wedge here and before I actually start I'm gonna change this color here I'm just gonna make it a little bit dark make it dark okay so I'm gonna start with a 3 meter wedge facing front right that's done next we're gonna use some Glass corner squares. I'm gonna put them like this. And then we're gonna switch to alloy here. I'm gonna do something like this. That's a triangle corner. And then we're gonna use an inverted shape. I'm gonna use the 4 meter one. And as you can see, the shape of the nose of the plane is coming along. I'm going to add this slope here. Right, so over here I'm going to put a camera. Right, where's this camera? This one, 360 camera, this is very good. Only problem of this camera is that it uses quite a lot of uh, GDP. So that's going to be there. That's good. This is going to give me uh, 270 degrees of, you know, view basically. All right. So here we're gonna put extra glass. Let's see, I'm gonna go like this. Like that yellow. I'm gonna go like this. Well, so I'm gonna extend this just a little bit more. Right. Down here, I'm gonna put some slopes. Just like this and over here I'm gonna add another square corner right and that is basically done I'm gonna fill this side here for now but later on I might actually have to carve this out again and try to like I don't know fit a pack or fit something so this is the nose of the plane pretty much done so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to extend this but before we do that we can do something called uh, a seagull neck which is you do something like this show you let's see that's fine 
and this will allow you to drop the shape your uh, aircraft a little bit to make it mo look like uh, an F-16 for example or you know an F-15 and this a little bit okay so now we're going to extend uh, the body basically we're going to extend from the neck to the body so I'm gonna use some um, slope 3 meters here point them like this and we're basically going to fit an engine here we're going to fit pretty much everything that we can fit like planes in this game you, when you like build planes in this game they're going to be very quite small right unless you want a starship right that's fun that is fun that is fun that's fun okay add down to here so if you want you can also make like a belly basically but uh, I think with this plane I'm just gonna keep it as straight as possible so something like this now if I didn't use this seagull uh, neck right I could probably make like a belly here like so you have this thing is basically straight then the plane will have like sort of like a belly here then it goes back all the way but I think that's fine uh, right so I'm gonna start putting some important stuff in here right away so Let's put a mainframe here. I'm gonna put this here. So I'm gonna put an empty breadboard here just to see the layout here. So empty breadboard here. Yeah, you can. Definitely can. Okay. Can I? Yeah, I can, yeah, I can, okay. So, breadboard is going to be there. And then I'm going to extend this. Some connectors, uh, general purpose, or GGP. Right, I'm going to extend some more. Because we're going to need all of this. So, I need... I need this. Ah, uh, this doesn't work this way, no. Yeah, it doesn't work this way. Usually I do something like this, I'm gonna show you. I do this and then this, right? But this does not work, so I need more space. Right, can you work like this? Oh wait, I can, I can, I can, I can. There you go. I'm gonna turn off mirror mode, cause I'm doing a mess on the other side. Right, so you're also gonna need uh, behavior card I'm just gonna add one behavior card right but if you want you can also add a target prioritization card which can help your plane so I'm gonna add this here this is another behavior card I'm gonna add GGP here as well but I can put a GGP here as well we have 11 GGP that's not bad so I'm gonna add some materials. Some materials we have 2k. Not enough, but uh we work on that. I could add some more here. So another thing that we need is we need two ACBs because the breadboard that I have uses the ACBs as a function for dodging so I'm gonna add two ACBs right we'll set them up later on though so that's done I'm just gonna extend the body just extend it as much as you want oops I did an oopsie. Okay. 
So let's see, this is... Oops. Again. Press it. There you go. 38. So we have 38 length, which is not bad. And with this, it's going to be 42, which is... I think it's quite enough, right? So I'm gonna add some more material boxes here. Let's see, that is 10k. Let's look. So I'm gonna add an engine. I also have to make fuel and I also have to make a missile controller basically. So when you build the engine, right, use a custom jet engine like this one, the big one. I'm gonna use some duct air intakes, but I'm not gonna make the side by side intakes. I'm gonna go with a vented, below vented. Uh, duct system like this one so look at the front right and press G this will orientate your parts correctly so I think I'm gonna go here I'm gonna go here I need any space for the yeah we'll see we'll see let's try like this first because there's a little bit of trial and error in this process I'm gonna go for some like this and you can also add a generator with the controller if you're going to add a pack to your main. I think I think this is enough, right? So I have this one here. This is all empty space, so I'm gonna add some fuel. So this engine uses 360, but it's gonna use a lot more when I put add-ons on it. So this is 500 and it's probably not enough and I don't have space for the missile controller here. Yep, I don't have space. This. I might have to sacrifice some compressors here. Space, we'll see. So right now, uh, 53,000, but if I start upgrading it, first of all, I'm going to need to add some vents, right? So I'm going to use these vents. So right now it's 53k, and now it's 88k, which is quite a difference. So I'm going to add, so I added some, uh, a chair, so make sure to add a chair and also add a vehicle controller like this, put Rambot in the chair and press Q on this thing and that will switch to airplane controls. Okay, so I'm gonna push forward here, let's see. 186 meters per second, which is pretty good for now. That is not bad. Right, I'm gonna start adding more upgrades though. So I don't want this plane to be super, you know, inefficient. I'm gonna make it where it's fast enough to dodge a missile. I'm gonna add some injectors. Oops. Keep doing oopsies. But why? And now I press the Discord button. <laughs> So we have 149,000 thrust. So as you can see, it's a little bit, a little bit heavy, right? That is not perfectly balanced, but it's fine. So I'm gonna add a missile controller here and I'm gonna add more material stuff. Uh, I'm just gonna have, gonna make this plane just with missiles for now. Wait, this is bad. I need to add transmitter like this first. Press G. 
then IFF, this off, and stagger fire. Okay. Put by AI. Okay, it's working though. So I'm gonna add local weapon controller right here. And I'm gonna add more Matilda stuff. Are we good with fuel? And also add some stuff here in the neck. We have some space here. Right, so that's done. So you are consuming 10 material per second. Material per second. I don't think that's very efficient though. We'll see. Anyway, I'm just gonna keep it open like this for now. So I'm gonna save. I'm gonna call this uh, YouTube build. Right, and then later on you guys can give me a good name for this plane. So right now it costs 16k, which is, I mean, not too expensive. Right, so I'm gonna start building the wings here. I think I'm gonna start from here actually, like this. Let's see. So I like to use wedges. I build wings. I know many of you will probably use uh, what is it called custom wings. But I prefer using these uh, wedges because they give you a bit more, you know, armor basically. Or something like this. And then I'm basically making the Draken, you know, the, that Swedish, uh, I think it's a Gen 3 plane, right? Pretty sure it's a Gen 3 plane. From like the 70s. Right, so I'm gonna go with something like that. So here I'm gonna end this, 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 and gonna back these guys with some wedge blocks or wedge back shapes basically this then here we add a two and if you can't add it like this don't worry you can we can all, always uh, mimic it control shift X apply to mirror Control shift X and uh, to mirror it. Round thing looks like this. Let's see how fast you are. Okay. So when you add wings, you're always going to uh, decrease the aerodynamics a little bit because you know it's quite normal. That looks pretty good. Wants to nose dive, I have no idea why. But it's probably because the weight. Right, so that's done. Everything here is basically done. I'm gonna set these ACBs. So I'm gonna add missile, detect missile, detect missile up to 550 meters with a minimum of 50 meters. Uh, target and action is complex control active, right? We can copy paste this on the other ACB. And then for this one, I'm just gonna add cram. I'm gonna make the cram 850 detection, minimum detection 100. So these guys are fine. Those are pretty much set. So next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start adding some control surfaces. So I'm gonna use these four meter pivots here. Add one, three. You always wanna add these guys at the back. And don't add too many of them because if you see that your PID is going crazy, especially with pitch up and pitch down, means that you have too many of these. Right, I'm gonna add that, that's fine. And then just behind them, I'm gonna add 
some roll. I'm gonna add these ailerons. Ailerons. Right, I'm gonna add two. Two of them like this. I think that's enough. So let's see here. Oh, I press J because I, I think it's J, right? I don't think I modified the the key. So that is very good. You can do like a full loop, like less than like five seconds. That's very good. That's probably too much, right? Let's check roll. Okay, roll is very good as well. Okay. So that is basically done. So I'm gonna start closing this up. I'm just gonna add a slope here. This. Right, so next thing is to add a rudder. You wanna add a rudder no matter what. So I think I'm gonna add the rudder over here. Good place. I think I'm gonna put it right here. So what I do, let me turn this off. What I like to do is I like to put it on an elevation block. So I put this facing uh, left or right. I'm gonna make it face uh, right for now. So I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna start a very simple rudder here. So something like this. Get a little bit bigger. Don't worry if it's big because I'm going to angle this. And when you angle it, right, it's gonna look small. Yeah, something like that. So, like the wings, I'm gonna back it up with some wedge backs. That's that. That looks. Horrible. Okay, I'll have to mimic that. So I'm gonna add this here. And then again, I'm gonna use these pivots for you. I think I'm gonna add two. Make sure to set this to zero, zero. Turn this off, reverse angle when backwards. Right, spread, and your left, I think. I think it's your left, right? Fine, I'm gonna copy paste on one. Yep, that's left. That's right. So that is fine. We're also going to turn this off here. Make sure to turn this off. Uh, reverse angle one backward. Only on the, only on the uh, pivots because these guys don't have them. Right, that's done. So next thing, I'm going to angle this, but it's not going to let me because it's basically rubbing on this frame here. But uh, it's fine, don't worry. So I'm gonna set this to 45. It's. I think I'm doing this right. Save this, put this on the other side, to negative, I think, I think I'm, yeah, oh, the reverse, okay, so you're 45, and you are negative 45, so, when you have this, right, when you have things rubbing with each other, and they can't really move, just save, I'm gonna do default default design here. Press restart and it should be fine. Oh no. What have you done? Come on. There you go. Now it worked. <laughs> so this one is 45. And this one is negative 45, okay. So as you can see, it looks a bit more ace combat. 
so later on you can extend this here like this then you can mimic this easily doesn't take too much time but uh, I might make if this video gets a lot of views I'll make like uh, I'll continue basically mimicking this plane uh, so we're gonna have since we don't have any guns on this thing I'm gonna give it a lot of missiles basically right that's done fuel is fine fuel is fine right materials we could probably add some more I'm gonna add some more materials here I'm not confident with how much 15 or basically 16k 18k I think that's fine for now right so we have breadboard we have ACBs we have engine we don't have missiles though but we can add missiles later on right so next thing is oh what do i add next let me think oh yeah so next thing we're gonna set the ai so we're gonna need two behaviors right we're gonna need add a ram and this is basically going to make the plane chase other planes so i'm gonna use disengage possible below 100 and 10 meters so basically if we get too close it will disengage and it will engage back to let's say 500 but you can change this to whatever you want so make sure that the settings are like this don't change anything else next we're gonna add a tech run with u-turn right we'll do pitch to target uh, 1200 meters uh, re-engage 1500 and 18 seconds uh, ignore combat altitude control altitude and fly enabled right so maximum maximum altitude 480 meters 180 minimum 180 minimum 4 seconds a rain prediction now this these settings here you might have to change them depending on what plane you made right so add maneuver airplane 2 right 500 meters 30 pitch 30 degrees pitch for target and then we're going to modify this let's see how it flies first though so it's uh, quite smooth 180 meters per second while turning which is not bad okay it's not bad so there's a little bit of your PID problems you can see we're gonna make it a bit more or, or a little less sensitive fine how's roll roll is not bad I think pitch is not bad as well Okay, why are you flying this low? Oh, okay. Hello? What's going on? Oh you, oh, you didn't take my settings. How dare you? How dare you didn't I take my settings? Let's see now. It's all over the place. We have something wrong with the... You are here. Not really, I don't think so. Yeah, it works fine. Okay, we'll have to see what's going on here. Anyway. Let's turn you off for now. So now, once you finish all of this, you're going to add my breadboard, basically. We need to change something in the breadboard, but uh, most of the things are going to be automatic. Uh, generic plane bread dodge and stability so this is fine this is fine 
So we're going to see this. This is what behavior uh, the plane is using. You need to set it to set attack run. Set attack run. Set to charge. And set to charge. I have the comments here so you can just like follow them. Uh, dodging, this is all automatic. We have also slow down where <clears throat> we, there's an enemy behind us or in front of us, I mean. Right, I, that's fine. It flies now. Okay, so we have some problems. So this thing is reversed. This thing is reversed. Press G. Okay. So it's very very sensitive. This plane right now is very 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 sensitive. Which is good because you can dodge stuff quite easily. At the same time it's bad. Let's see, do that. Which is also very sensitive as well. Give it a little bit of command here, let's see. Control moving out, 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 moving out. So that is not bad actually. It's not bad. Okay, okay, it's not bad, it's not bad. So, another thing that you can do is you can change the maximum roll the plane is going to use. Uh, but I'm gonna keep it like this for now. I'm gonna see how it fights. So, next thing is we're gonna add missiles. Right. So. So I'm definitely gonna add missiles somewhere here. To be a very good place. So we're gonna add one here. One here. One here. One here. So you don't want the missiles to be too close to your fuselage because sometimes they'll get stuck. Okay, I think that's good. So we need missile wireless receiver. I'm gonna add one here, one here, here. So I think I'm gonna have uh, four small missiles which is going to be 16 missiles and I'm gonna add or have this one which will be a medium missile let's start from the medium missile first so medium rail launcher press G while looking forward point it up start building this thing I'm not gonna make it too big I think that's big enough there okay same thing with the small missiles G. That is good enough. Same thing here. Press G. Okay, I think that is better. So let's see, twenty nine thousand. Oh yeah, this thing is gonna be like thirty five k. So let's set these guys up. Uh, variable thruster, yes. Fins, yes. Uh, turning thruster, yes. 25, 70%. Fuel use for turning thruster. Uh, fuel, fuel, signal processor. The predictor. Explosive and fuel. Still forward. You guys are. 150 meters per second that's more than enough the more speed you add to a uh, missile it, the less it will turn so don't exaggerate so that's done 
that these guys so this is going to be more like air to ground uh fins yes burning thruster fuel tank so i'm not gonna add an apn on this thing i'm gonna add a predictor and signal processor that you will things going 124 meters per second i want a little bit more okay you will going to ramp up in 0 0.5 seconds turning thruster 70 percent dropped as a bomb yes okay because when it's a medium missile it will give you an option to basically drop it like a bomb which i really like okay that's done let's give it a test against dusters see what it does so right now it's not gonna dodge because it cannot detect missiles that's well, it's not bad it doesn't look too bad let's see what it does oh my god missile Okay, good. So it's having issues. Having a lot of issues with the detection there. Okay. So I'm gonna set this guy to shoot at certain angles. So 35 elevation. Minimum elevation 35, 15 degrees, and uh, 15 degrees. Make sure that this is at least 30 degrees. Okay. Make sure you shoot missiles only at a certain range, 800 meters, that's fine. Minimum detection 100 meters. I think that's fine. Right, let's add some fences. We don't have enough ammunition. Yeah, we don't have ammunition, no. Right, I'm gonna add ammunition here. I have a choice. Let's see. That is fine. Yeah, 270, that's, a, that's, that's more than enough. This is actually a very hard place to get hit because I have this rudder here. Yep. Okay. Oh, that's fine. Detection. Uh, the radar. P60 radar. Because this thing works as a tracker. Okay. Now we're gonna add more stuff. So over here, which is a very good angle, I can actually put it here, which is even better. Yeah, I'm gonna sacrifice this one. I think we have too much roll anyway. So now you can actually do something like this, all in one local weapon controller. Bam. Then we can add, so I'm gonna do something like this. Radar gimbal here. Laser. Right. Then this off and just swap them. Like this. But I think I need something. Let's see this one. Yeah. No, these these guys are fine. More than enough. We have enough GGP. Right? So that's gonna work. So we have uh, okay. We need to detect this. So we're gonna add a bunch of these. I know they're uh, they're kind of ugly even if they updated the uh, models. But later on, I'll I will definitely hide these guys. One here. Make sure to put some above as well. And below. And we need behind. So later on, I'm gonna close this up. 
some of the rudders. Okay. I think that's fine. Let's see how it does. So we have 170 meters per second, which is not bad. Pushing those missiles, no problem. Got two of them. So I might actually lower the stagger fire, basically make my missiles shoot a little bit lower. There we go. Yeah, if I had more space, right, I could probably put a pack. Although I could probably put a pack here, because I do have space. But I'm gonna need a battery as well. Okay, I think I do have a space for, for a pack. How much could you cost? Yeah, I think I'm gonna add the pack as well. So let's add a small pack. What space do I have here? I'm gonna put a battery there. So the only pro issue that I have is that this thing is going to be kind of useless, especially in the front. That's fine, I guess. So let's add a pack. So I'm going to put... I'm going to put it here, I think. Right? It works. So I like to use, where is it, this one, scatter lens. So it's not gonna be too big. I can actually probably use a um, short lens. Yeah, let's use a short lens. Tiny, tiny pack. Right, that's done. So I have to sacrifice something here though. Uh, I'm gonna sacrifice you. Sacrifice you. And I'm gonna add the generator. Press G. Energy percent. So that, that kind of slowed me down quite a lot. But I can I can extend this engine a little bit more because it's not really consuming that much materials. Okay, okay, hundred seventy-five there. So this pack is done, set it up. Uh, we can do impact or we can do piercing or EMP. I think I'm gonna go, could go EMP on this thing, but uh, I really hate EMP. I just don't like the mechanics of EMP in this game. Uh, Purge time 15 seconds, that's fine. Not gonna do a huge amount of damage, but it's fine. So this thing is basically done. Just have to cover it up. Then I'll fix the back. Watch Matsy consuming not, not a lot. Absolutely not a lot. Telling me that I don't have enough fuel, but I don't think so. We'll see. Okay, ooh. 
Right, I have to set you up now. Uh, 750, make sure you have 10 degrees, uh, 10 meters per second section. Oh, it's doing fine against dusters, but I mean, to see how it does against other things. So it should slow down here. Yep. Oh, it's missing a lot with the pack. So we have to probably set the camera. Set these cameras like this. That should be okay. No, 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 don't go there. Oh. Okay. Let's see if it manages to get out of the water without any help. I don't think so. Ooh. Nope. Alright, let's try again something a bit harder. Blind squirrels. does okay manages to hit one of them dodging the missiles okay, it's still dodging the missiles Doing well against missiles though. Needs to be a bit more aggressive though. Okay. Okay, the missiles are really good. They're hitting the squirrels. It's not bad, it's not bad. Oh, we got one of them! So if this was like a dedicated pack plane, it would be a lot better. Still not happy though with the PID on the thing. I think it has too much yaw. That. might make it bank a lot more because right now it's not really banking at all I'm trying to make it bank so I'm gonna do 35 45 55 okay now it's banking was well, a very cheeky missile so as you can see, I don't need flares. You can install flares if you want, but uh, doesn't really need flares at all. This is they're going. Okay, good missiles. And it's upside down.
So I think I'm gonna make it so it's not super defensive, because it's always defensive, right? Uh, so what you wanna do, you wanna decrease the range where it tries to dodge missiles. This. Decrease it by like 100 meters. Okay, now it's trying to go in space. Are you gonna get hit there? Okay, one of them is down. Okay. Missed. So I think it's better to like remove one of the cameras, the laser camera, and then put actually 90 degree cameras. Those I think those are a little bit better. Watch out. Very defensive. Ooh. So this is a very basic um, breadboard, right? It doesn't have BIDs, doesn't have anything. It just dodges, right? And it does certain other things. Oh, wow. Nice shot. Yeah, this thing is not bad. Like, I just, you know, didn't take me too long to make it. Well, hope you guys uh, found this video useful. I'm going to, you know, keep doing videos like this. Make sure to subscribe and like. And if I get a lot of views on this video, I'm going to also decorate that plane so make sure to press the like button make sure to comment it really helps the uh, video out so thank you for watching and i'll see you for more ftd videos